Okay, today we're going to take a look at 2XL, which was a educational robot slash game. It came out, uh, I think it says on all the cartridges and, and on the robot itself. Yes, 1978, Megocorp. Uh, basically, it was an 8-track player. They're only using four mono tracks. 8-track is actually four tracks, just each track is stereo. In this case, they're mono. And um, you had these buttons. And it also, besides, I only have three different tapes here. There were like a, like a dozen different tapes and categories and things. And some of them, um, you needed a booklet to use with them because the booklet might be like a maze or it might be a picture with hidden things in the picture and the robot would ask you to turn to such and such page in the booklet and then using the A, B, and C button and the question button actually it would tell you which one to push if you thought you had such and such answer. But uh, I recently watched a video on YouTube and I'll put a link to it down below where the guy uh, took the tracks and the 8-track and put them on a computer so that you can actually see the tracks in linear fashion and understand how the robot was able to make its choices and all that good kind of stuff. So, what the heck, let's turn it on. I guess I had it on. Put the tape in. There you go. Ego, but you can call me Brady because I am the smartest toy robot in the world. I can talk to you and you push buttons to answer me. Let me turn on all my systems so I can become operational. I am now fully functional and ready to go. Before we begin, there are two instructions I'd like you to remember. One, always choose answers after I say the word now. The word now is your clue to choose answers. Please, Never choose answers or push buttons on your own. Only after I say the word now. Two, if you ever get confused or if a question is too difficult for you, push the question button instead of your answer. Then I'm, I'm not going to make you listen to all of this stuff. I, I just thought we'd go through one of them, give you the you. gist of what this general information and how Please it was meant to work. Remember, this is only an introductory program. Some of the questions will be easy for you and others hard. In either case, I hope you enjoy operating me. Let us begin. Question number one is a question from the Guinness Book of World Records. It will be a true-false question, and you will use the true-false buttons to answer it. The fattest man who ever lived weighed over 1,000 pounds. Please answer true or false now. Oh, of course. We know that. It's like 1,200 or 1,400 pounds, wasn't it? And he didn't say fastest man, he said fattest man. You are very smart. You have answered true, and this is the correct answer. A man named Robert Earl Hughes at one time weighed 1,069 pounds. When he was six years old, he already weighed 203 pounds. As a matter of fact, when Mr. Hughes died, okay. he was so heavy. So I think you get the gist of that. Um, well, maybe not. If I had pushed the wrong answer, for example, let's just go down and see what's going on there. You have answered true. This is correct. You are smart. Good work. I have to wait question for the next question. Two. What TV program does this tune come from? We'll, I will whistle we'll this purposely tune select the wrong answer and see what it says. Okay, so he's whistling Andy Griffith. So when he gives us the choices, we won't select Andy Griffith. I will now be nice enough to give you three choices. Is that tune from A. Gomer Pyle Show, B. Lassie, or C. Andy Griffith Show? Please answer A, B, or C now. Let's go ahead and select B because we know it wasn't. Okay, let's um, 
The talking calculator one, as I understand it, as it goes through it gives you a series of numbers and then you're supposed to pause the machine, work out the math for yourself, and then you use the four buttons on the front, and it shows you here with now what they mean, and it'll give you the answer if you were to add them together, it would give you the answer if you were to subtract them, it would give you the answer if you were to times them, and it would give you the answer if you were to divide them. So a way to uh, check your math skills. So let's say we took 36 and 18, what's minus? You have pushed the minus button. So 36 minus 18 equals 18. Maybe if I'm fast. Now, I was hoping I could quick and get over. Nine and one, huh? Uh, well, it's already on the plus. Let's go ahead and leave it on plus. Your brain has pushed the plus button, and my brain will tell you nine plus one equals ten. Here okay. are your next two numbers. So there you get the uh, the idea of the whole thing. There's a series of tapes with questions and answers, and it could either give you the right answers or you could try to give it the right answers. If you give it the wrong answers, then it would go on and on. It's uh, pretty advanced for its time, 1978. Um, back in the 1980s again, you would pick these up at swap meets anywhere from 25 cents to a, a buck and a quarter. They'd always be missing the power supply. But all you need is a DC power supply. Anything from 6 to 9 volts will work. This particular one is a... 7.5 volts DC and you just have to have like a standard um, mono earphone type jack to get the power into it and it'll work it just fine. Um, pots are normally a little scratchy but nothing a little spray cleaner won't clean up. Mechanically though they keep going so they actually had a, a very robust 8 track player in there I guess there was like a surplus of 8 track players laying around because cassette had already come into being more popular by a long shot but um, there's your 2XL 1978 Megacorp